Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. Back at y'all for another round. And tonight, it goes down. The pivotal game three between the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. Now, Miami was able to pull off a victory in game two in Denver. And I anticipated them to win at least one of the two games in Denver. I thought they were going to win game one because of the amount of rest that Denver had between their game four sweep of L.A. all the way to game one, which they had an extensive amount of time off, and I thought that would lead to some rust. But they appeared to have zero rust. They appeared to display nothing but dominance, which is what I alluded to in my pre- pregame video that they were just too big you know they're too big and more skilled than Miami however Miami is a team with a lot of fight and a lot of will because they come from the Pat Riley tree and Pat Riley tree if you look at the the, the Patrick Ewing Knicks if you look at the Lonzo Morning Miami Heat like that is part of the Pat the Pat Riley repertoire that's part of his pedigree. And coaches that coach under him come with that same fervor, i.e. Uh, Eric Spolstra. Spolstra teaches that fight, that tenacity, that will, the Miami culture, the Miami way. So that heat culture comes with fight, with grit. And what happened in game two was Denver going up early. They went up as, as much as 16. You couple that with their performance in game one, what they did was they took their foot off the gas. And they allowed Miami to come back by just donating three-point shots. They, were just, they weren't even closing in. They were just letting them shoot three-point shots they took their foot off the gas. They didn't think Miami could come back. They thought Miami would be demoralized. But when you have a great coach and you come from a great system uh, that Pat Riley has implemented and is being ran by Spolstra, you're never out of a game. You got to play the full 48 minutes against Miami. And Denver did not do that, and they paid the price. So for this game... I expect, especially uh, Mike Malone, the coach, came out and let his team have it publicly and let them know that he was disappointed in their performance, that they didn't, they didn't seem like they wanted it. I think that might be the spark to wake them back up and let them know, like, listen, this ain't the regular season anymore. You know, you can't afford to lose these games. You can't afford to take your foot off the gas and allow a team like Miami with a closer like Jimmy Butler, you can't allow this thing to be tight, you know, because if anything, they have the experience, Miami. And experience plays a key role this time of the year. Denver doesn't have much experience. What they have on their end is youth and size and talent. That's enough components to get you a victory. But overall... If you are going to fall asleep on the wheel and give Miami a second chance, Miami is the type of team that will make you pay. Just ask Milwaukee. Just ask Boston. You know, they were better than the Knicks. The record, the record didn't count. They were better than the Knicks. I know the Knicks were a fifth seed. Miami was an eighth seed. But the Knicks are a young, up-and-coming, developing team. The Miami was better. They just had to work out some kinks and didn't have enough time before the season ended. But they started to come back and play a lot more cohesive towards the end of the year. But the teams that were supposed to be better than them were Milwaukee and Boston. And, you know, they learned you don't play with Miami. When it comes to Miami, you don't play with your food. So... We'll see what happens tonight. I have Denver waking back up and 
and taking a 2-1 lead. What do you think is going to happen? Drop your thoughts. Let's build. I'm Waz for Waz Wars Media. Peace.